Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation. First of all, I want to say thank you for all of you that coming to this presentation. Our group will present material about CAMEL, which stands for Capital Assets Management, Earning, and Liquidity. Next. Before we get into our presentation, let me introduce our team. It consists of me, Monica Widiandari, and Virania Devarianti, and the last one is Mikaela. Next. Uh, our today's content is first, uh, uh, our team. The second one is the definition of camel. The third one is components and its meaning and how to measure each components. The fourth one is interpretation of camel analysis. And the last one is the study case. Next. So what, uh, what is camel? Uh, camel is a benchmark that is the object of bank inspection conducted by bank supervisors, supervisors regulated in Bank Indonesia Regulation Number 6 slash N slash PBI slash 2004 concerning the rating system for commercial banks. CAMEL consists of five criteria or stands for capital, assets, management, earnings, and liquidity. These aspects are the most influential aspects of the bank's financial conditions which also affect the level of the bank health. It is also used to measure performance and detect problems that risk disrupting bank operations. Let's say a bank with camel rating below 81 uh, indicates a weak financial condition as indicated by the bank's balance uh, sheet, such as the ratio of non-performing loans to total assets has increased. If this matter is not resolved, the problem may disrupt the continuity of the bank's business. Banks that are registered on the watch list are considered as problem banks and are more frequently examined by bank supervisors uh, when compared to banks that are not in trouble. A bank with a camel rating above 81 is a bank with strong income and small non-current assets. Camel ratings have never been widely publi publicated. Next, we come to components of the camel. First is capital and the second one is assets. From the capital, the soundness level of the bank from the aspect of capital is assessed or measured using the capital adequacy ratio or CAR. This ratio represents the bank's ability to use its own capital to cover the decline in assets caused by losses arising from the use of these assets. Uh, for the formula from the capital, CAR is equal to modal bank, tire 1 plus tire 2, uh, divided by ATMR uh, times 100%. The second one is asset. Productive asset quality reflects the financial performance of banking companies. Asset quality assessment is carried out by comparing earning assets classified to the total earning assets in accordance with Bank Indonesia regulations. For the formula is KAP sama dengan aktiva produktif yang diklasifikasikan uh, dibagi total aktiva produktif dikali 100% dengan nilai kredit nilai kreditnya sama dengan 15,5% dikurangi rasio KAP ditambah 1 uh, dibagi 0,15% next materi will be presented by Verania Thank you very much, Monica, for the explanation. I will continue the next explanation about the components, management, and earning. So uh, the first for management, 
by the management judgment that determine whether an institution can react well to financial problems. The rating of this component is reflected by management's ability to demonstrate, measure, and maintain, measure, maintain, and control the risk of daily activities within the company. Uh, management is the rating ratio of a bank based on capital management, asset management, profitability management, liquidity management, uh, and then the last one is general management. And based on this, the formula used to calculate the soundness level of a bank in terms of management is, as you can see here, NPM equal to laba bersih divided by pendapatan operasional multiplied by 100%. And then the next one is earning. So a healthy bank will certainly be seen from its ability to earn income in the form of profit. The greater the profit earn indicates that the bank's performance is getting better and its financial condition is also uh, better. So earning, namely the ratio based on the profitability of a bank or ability of a bank to generate profit. To measure a bank's ability to generate profit, it is measured by return on assets and operating expense to operating income or BOPO. Below, uh, this is the formula to calculate the earning. So the first one is ROE equal to laba bersih sebelum pajak multiplied by total aktiva eh divided by total aktiva multiplied by 100% with the credit value 15% point 15.5% minus ratio ROA divided by 0.15% and then the second formula is the ratio beban operasional terhadap pendapatan operasional with the formula beban operasional divided by pendapatan operasional multiplied by 100% with the credit value uh, 100% minus ratio BOPO divided by 0.08%. And then the last component is the liquidity component. So the liquidity aspects is related to the bank's ability to pay its debt. The more capable a bank of paying debts, the more liquid the bank is. Uh, the ratio used to assess the liquidity of a bank by looking at public financing of funds received by the bank or financing to deposit ratio. Uh, the following is the formula used to calculate the liquidity. So the formula is pembiayaan yang diberikan divided by dana pihak ketiga multiplied by 100% with the credit value equal to 115% minus ratio FDR multiplied by 4. Uh, based the formula that been explained, this is the bank health level according to the CAMEL as explained before, the brief explanation by Monica before. So this is the table to measure the bank health level. Uh, the first one is 0% until less than 51% is categorized as unhealthy. And then as you can see here, there's less healthy, healthy, etc, etc. Well, I think uh, that's all for me. The next explanation will be explained by my partner, Mikaela, please. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. So we will move to the study case of a bank in um, Indonesia, it's very, but uh, first we have to know about how to interpret the camel analysis first. Determining the scores of each camel component, it will be found uh, when we put that into the formula that I have explained by my partners. And the second determining an overall score, uh, we will, um, take an average score um, from the calculation, but if it's uh, if we won't take the average score, uh, there's also indicators that uh, will conclude all the uh, explanation from the um, component of camel. And the third is comparing the score to industry standards and regulatory requirements. Um, it's uh, based on the country. Uh, for example, Indonesia have a certain percentage standard for um, capital. Um, uh, it also means that other countries also have different uh, standard percentage. And the fourth is in identifying the bank's um, strength and weakness and determining necessary regulatory actions regarding the um, calculations and analysis of them. Next, for this study case. 
So here, um, me and my partner um, take uh, a study case in uh, Bank in Bank Rakyat Indonesia or BR, BRI uh, in uh, the year of 2019 from the annual group. So this is the summary of the financial position, financial report. And first, we have to know about the capital as the first component of Camel. So um, that have been explained by my partner, Fioronia, that it will be uh, considered by the tier, or we can or we can say it as total equity to total asset ratio. So uh, the bank, as we seen here, that Bank Indonesia has set a minimum standard of 8% for capital advancing. So in 2018, in the previous year, uh, the BR, BRI um, achieved a, a credit value of 21.21% uh, 21 .21 of CAR aspect, and this value increased to 22.55% in 2019. So what we can conclude from here, so BRI's capital ratio falls under the healthy category because um, it's not uh, categorized as the uh, requirement of Indonesia. Um, the next will be the assets. The assets uh, will determine by other factors than CR. Next. So this is um if in the explanation before we have to know about KAP, but here um uh, because they don't really explain about the company of KAP itself, so we can conclude it from the credit and the growth of the credit. So uh the productive asset uh, quality or KAP ratio in BRI is reflected in the growth of credit value from. Uh, around uh, 900 trillion in 2018 to um to uh 838 trillion so this is a decrease but um it's still uh categorized as healthy rating next folder the m m is management so here is um if you remember that the m is pretty simple it will divide the um, net profit to the operational income or revenue. So um, we got the um, value of the net profit and the uh, proportional income or revenue. So here in 2018, um, the NPM or net profit margin is 77, but uh, it increased to 79% uh, in 2019. So it indicates that uh, it uh, decreased about 1.56 percent as well as a real we can conclude that bri is considered to be a reasonably healthy since the npm ratio uh, for the bank falls within the range of 1966 uh, to 81 percent that indicates that the bank is performing satisfactorily in the terms of generating profits from its operations next for de e is for earning so earning um we will look at looking at the ROA. So uh BRI recorded an ROA ratio of 3.68% and it declined to 3.50% in 2019. But despite of this decline, BRI is still categorized as healthy, and this suggests that BRI is able to maintain a strong financial performance despite the decline in ROA. Next for the L. L is for liquidity. So in the previous, we know that L will be determined by FDR, finance, um, financing, financing to this deposit ratio. But here, uh, the information only only got the LDR or loan to deposit ratio. So we can see that 2018, TBRI got uh, 88.96% uh, uh, with a credit score of uh, 104 uh, 0.16% and it decreased to 88.64% with a credit score of 105.4% uh, and indicates that uh, the LDR or the liquidity of the BRI uh, for both uh, 2018 and 2019 is considered as healthy despite of this decline uh, and also the reason of this is uh, the credit score is above uh, 100%. So as a result, we can conclude that uh, from the liquidity, 
TBRI can meet its obligations, particularly in repaying withdrawals made by depositors or you can say customers, I can, uh, and can also fund all the eligible credit applica applications. And what we can conclude from uh, all the components of the camel to this uh, bank, so it, it indicates that BRI has a strong financial position and is capable to meeting its obligation and managing risk effect effectively. So um, that's all from my team. Um, if you guys have any question, you can ask in a class. So uh, thank you and see you in a class. Thank you.